South Africa thanks the nation of Ghana for hosting the exercise for the second consecutive year, along with Cote d'Ivoire. Both partner nations have worked through years of planning and coordination to enable Flintlock's success. The U.S. and Ghana have showcased a demonstrated defense and diplomatic partnership throughout the years through multiple military and civil exchanges. Hosting the 23 and 24 exercise further reinforces this expansive relationship to new heights. Ghana has established tremendous leadership among African nations in the security realm, conducting multiple multilateral peacekeeping missions across Africa, targeting transnational organized crime in West Africa and promoting good governance and democracy serving as a model for other African nations and partners. Flintlock 24 is postured to be a robust ex exercise with over 1,300 participants from nearly 30 nations. It's hosting four outstations throughout Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire to home, hone various tactical skills, including reconnaissance, close quarters battle drills, border patrol operations, and other maritime activities. It is through these tactical collaborations that we bolster interoperability to mutually enhance our capability to target security threats. Flintlock is U.S. Africa Command's premier and largest annual special operations exercise, which aims to strengthen key partner forces collaboration throughout Africa in conjunction with the U.S. and international special operations forces community. Flintlock is the representation of our African-led, partner-enabled approach to engagements in Africa and is the model for future dynamic. Since 2005, U.S., international, and African partners have gathered together for this historic exercise to contribute to enhance the security landscape in Northwest Africa. The participants in Flintlock 2024 comprise a diverse set of nations across the globe. Our international partners, NATO allies, and African partners create a framework of shared values and mutual respect to jointly tackle the security challenges present on the continent. Flintlock, which is the special operations aspect of that, showcases more than tactical operations, but also a strong focus on academics, featuring the rule of law, women, peace, and security initiatives, along with other things like medical and civil action programs in local villages. This wide array of military and civil engagements fully in illustrates that achieving greater peace and stability starts at the community level and expands outward. I thank you all again for your participation, leadership, and recognition that a prosperous Africa is the world's best interest for global stability. Flintlock also serves as an integral role for creating greater security and security with, and safety with Africa. And without further ado, let's commence Flintlock 24. I wholeheartedly welcome you all to Ghana. It gives me pleasure and I feel honored to have been selected by the Ghana Military High Command and the Chief of the Army Staff to represent the Ghana Armed Forces at this historic opening ceremony of exercise Flintlock 2024. The exercise objectives include the first, uh, the, to facilitate adherence, adherence to cooperation on transnational security, enhance interoperability, is also to ensure coordination, coordinating the formation, deployment, and employment of combined joint operational task force, develop info operational campaign, demonstrate adherence to the rule of law, and to promote integration and implementation of human security. We have been fortunate to be a part of this exercise platform created and enabled by our U.S. partners to get us talking, coordinating, and cooperating to fight and contain this threat, which is worldwide. It is my hope that all of us will see the need to show maximum interest in this exercise, and equally more importantly, to further develop the partnership established in order that we reap optimal benefit from this exercise. Permit me to express my appreciation to the exercise planners, both Ghana and Forces partners, who are the lead and the United States Special Operations Command Africa, Africa partners, who have been 
our very able enablers for a good job, for a good job done so far. Judging from the levels of preparation, I'm confident that we will have a very good exercise. <laughs>